This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now then, um, I suspect most people of a similar persuasion to me, similar possibly age group to me, um, you know, got into music the same way as I did, you know, by listening to the top 40 as a kid, you know, and in, in my case, my childhood was the 1970s, and uh, 50s rock and roll was, uh, or the rock and roll revival scene was, was a massive thing back then, and that was what the top 40 was full of, so that's what I kind of got into, and from there, the 50s rock and roll stuff led me on to blues, and from blues, I went in a couple of different directions, jazz was one direction and then you know kind of blues rock and hard rock was another direction and classical music was well it was just something that old people listened to you know I, it, it held no interest for me whatsoever uh, and coupled with the fact that it was the sort of thing that was absolutely rammed down your throat force fed to you in music appreciation lessons at school and like any self-respecting adolescent I rebelled against that kind of thing but then about 20 years ago, just after the turn of the millennium, um, when I realised I was entering middle age, I suppose, uh, I had a little bit of a word with myself and said, um, I said to myself, you know, there's this whole genre of music that you're willfully ignoring. Is that a healthy thing to do for somebody that calls himself a musician? Um, so I thought, basically, I bought myself a, a, one of these uh, compilations, you know, four CDs, 100 tracks, um, probably something put out by Classic FM or uh, something like that. Anyway, started listening to it and thinking, you know, even if I don't like it, at least I can say I've tried. That, that was basically the, the, um, the thought process. And two things happened, really. First of all, I thought, I know that tune. I know that tune. I didn't realise I know that tune. So a lot of this music was more familiar to me than I thought it was going to be. And a lot of it was just started kind of getting under my skin and, you know, found myself humming melodies and, you know, just get, getting an appreciation for this sort of music. So that's what today's Top 5 Tuesday is all about. I'm going to share with you uh, my five favourite, currently favourite, it could could all change, as I always say with these lists, it could be different next week, but currently my five favourite pieces of classical music, I'm going to link to them all in the description, and so you can you know go and check them out yourself. But let's get started straight away with... Nimrod, from the Enigma Variations, by Edward Elgar. Yes, uh, this one, uh, these lists aren't usually in any sort of order of ranking, but if there were, I would say this one would be at the top. Um, this is um, Edward Elgar's finest work, I think. Many people, uh, me included, think that uh, Land, his, one of his other um, you know, pieces of music, uh, Land of Hope and Glory, should really be uh, the British National Anthem. Um, but... Um, Enigma, from, uh, Nimrod from the Enigma Variations, rather. This is just a, a mournful, haunting, beautiful piece of music. My favourite version of it is the one that I've linked to in the description. It's uh, played by the uh, the mast bands of the Household Division, and it's always played um, alongside the Cenotaph every Remembrance Sunday as part of the uh, Service of Remembrance. Maybe it's because I'm English and, you know, um, I, I don't know. But this piece of music, this rendition of this piece of music just always kind of brings a lump to my throat and, and a tear to my eye. It's just, I absolutely love it. It's just, as I say, hauntingly, magically beautiful. And um, I hope that anyone watching this video that's never heard this piece of music before will go and discover this piece of music and, and have a similar reaction to me. So there you go, Nimrod by Elgar. Next. The Intermezzo from Cavaliera Rusticana by Pietro Mascagni. Yes, the Intermezzo from, and I hope I pronounce this correctly, the Intermezzo from Cavaliera Rusticana uh, by Pietro Mascagni. I think I got that right. Um, yeah, I, I know nothing really about this piece of music uh, other than I like it. It's... Um, it is one of those pieces of music that tends to crop up on all of these, you know, um, hundred greatest classical anthems compilation CDs and Spotify uh, playlists and so on. And it's just a beautiful piece of music. It's a slow burn, 
Um, you know, but those of us who grew up listening to Pink Floyd are, are used to that kind of thing before, you know, you, you get a little way in before you, ah, now I get what's going on. Um, stick with it till about 1 minute 20, um, where you will hear just this beautiful melody unfold. It is absolutely achingly gorgeous. And, you know, I think one of the things that I, I love about uh, all of these pieces is you don't realise just what the, the kind of wide dynamic range is um, of, of classical music compared to, you know, kind of four blokes with bass drums and guitars and keyboards. You know, there's, there's, there's much more kind of ebb and flow and light and shade in this. And this is certainly true of this piece of music. Absolutely gorgeous melody. It's one of those ones that every now and again I keep thinking, I should really have a go at doing something with this on the guitar. I've tried it a couple of times, but, you know, it never really seems to translate very well. So perhaps that's the music's way of telling me, leave me alone. There's, you know, don't try and reinvent the wheel. This is, this is already as good as it's it's going to get yet yeah, go and check it out um the intermezzo from uh, cavalier rusticana by uh, pietro mascani there i got it right again next the moldau river from mavlast by bedrick smetina yeah this one's part of a suite of six symphonic poems written by uh, the composer bedrick smetina and um I must admit, I haven't checked out the others. Uh, must get round to it sometime, but this is just achingly gorgeous. Um, it's basically all about um, his native land of Czechoslovakia, the, the whole um, the whole suite of poems. And this one describes the uh, Moldau River from its emergence from a couple of springs uh, up in the mountains, I guess, and then uh, gathering pace as it rushes through the countryside. The, there's apparently... Um, a, a part of the uh, of the, the the music where it's kind of by going past a uh, a wedding and then it becomes this raging torrent as it enters. I think the the river Elba. Um, it's you know even when you don't know all that sort of stuff, it is just the thing that it's got something that all of these pieces of music have got. It's a damn good tune. You know, it just really really kind of it's one of those tunes that you you find yourself humming a real earworm. Uh, but in a good way, not in a sort of agadoo kind of way. Um, it's a, it's a beautiful piece of music, and it's you know f from listening to this sort of stuff, you can kind of get little bits of ideas for what you can do with, uh, for guitar licks, for instance. Even I mean, you listen to this and you'll hear that same melody being interpreted in many different ways. Um, basically, um, I think I did a, a video last week or whenever it was about you know kind of using repetition in um in in your licks in guitar solos well you know that that is probably subliminally uh, something that i got from listening to stuff like this because it's you know you hear the same phrases and melodies but you know kind of in different octaves and you know in minor keys and then in major keys and so on it's it's just a beautiful piece of music and um i can't recommend it highly enough which is why it's on this list Next. Jupiter from the Planet Suite by Gustav Holst. You know, I think Gustav Holst himself was quoted as saying that uh, melodies as good as this come to a composer once in a lifetime if they're lucky. And it is that good. It's a fantastic piece of music. You probably already know it. Um, certainly if you're a long-term viewer of my channel, you will, because I, I did a version of it on YouTube uh, a couple of years ago. And, um, yeah, it's, it's also the melody from this is also used as, uh, the, the melody for that hymn that we probably all used to sing in school. I vow to thee, my country. And it was also used as the melody for the, uh, rugby world cup theme tune, you know, uh, what was it called? One world in union. It's definitely one of those pieces of music that, um, when I initially got that, you know, big kind of classical music compilation CD box set, it was one of the ones that made me think, I know this tune. And uh, without realising it, I was already a fan of Gustav Holst. Since then, I've uh, I've checked out the rest of the Planet Suite. And 
Um, yeah, some some great tunes in there, but for me, this is the one that stands out. Another good one, actually, is Mars, the Bringer of War. Um, that is a tune that certainly Tony Iommi or Giza Butler must have um, had an, an awareness of. Let's let's say when they wrote, um, you know, the the song Black Sabbath, and it, it's also got strong uh, resemblances to Pink Floyd's. Um, is it Astronomy Domine or Astronomy Demand? One of the early Sid Barrett tunes. Um, you know, the, there's the strong kind of resemblances there. So, you know, it's um, the Planet Suite is seems to be one of those pieces of uh, classical work that is um, well trodden by uh, by us guitar players. And for me, Jupiter is the standout piece uh, throughout it all. It's just absolutely god, so uplifting and joyful. Um, you know, well, it's you know that the the, um, the 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 subheading of it is uh, Jupiter, the bringer of jollity. You know, and, and you can certainly kind of get that sense. It's a, such a beautifully uh, happy piece of music, so go and check it out. Next. Rhapsody on a theme of Paganini by Sergei Rachmaninoff. Yes, indeed. Um, this is just probably one of the most beautiful pieces of music ever written. And uh, just, just again, one of those melodies that really does get you here, or it certainly does me anyway. Um, again, that sort of light and shade, that ebb and flow, uh, it's just utterly enchanting i think um there's a really really good video by uh that chap from the uh, music theory for guitar channel where he explains how um rachmaninoff took um you know a very very famous paganini melody and used i think it was negative harmony uh to to end up with this melody that we have here uh so i'll, I'll probably link to that down in the description as well it's it's you know for me for if you're a music theory nerd like me then you'll find it fascinating but it is just such a beautiful beautiful piece of music um you know it's again it's another one of those that i've often thought ah, maybe i should do something with this on the guitar and you know it's never really kind of worked out satisfactorily so i'll probably just end up leaving it alone you know let sleeping dogs lie don't try and reinvent the wheel as it were um so there you go those are my five favorite pieces of classical music and um thank you if you're still watching the video now i know this is a topic that um that isn't <laughs> let's face it uh going to be uh, something that many guitarists are going to be uh, clicking on but if you've watched uh, well thank you so much and uh, thank you uh, for your time hope you've enjoyed the video and found it reasonably entertaining in some small way and hopefully uh, you've discovered maybe one or two pieces of music that uh, you weren't aware of and that you're going to love for the rest of your life that's certainly uh, what happened to me when I kind of started checking out this sort of stuff as I say if you enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button and uh, the uh, um, the notification bell and give me a like while you're at it and don't forget the uh, live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars what a great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now <laughs>